I'm Christina and welcome back to Geek Heaven. Today I have a review of The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. It won the Cost of Book of the Year for 2013. It's his first novel. I went into this not really knowing anything about it. I read the synopsis which I will read for you. I'll tell you what happened because it will be a good way to introduce my brother. His name's Simon. I think you're going to like him. I really do. But in a couple of pages, he'll be dead, and he was never the same after that. And it, you just gotta love that, right? The synopsis just grabs you. Um, and I was so pleasantly surprised about this. It's about Matt, uh, who is uh, schizophrenic. Uh, I think by the time he's writing this, he's 19 years old. You get to see how he thinks and um, the book is sort of a collection of his writing as he goes through his illness and dealing with the death of his brother. His brother's name is Simon. It was his older brother. He had Down syndrome. And Matt certainly deals with a lot of guilt surrounding his death. I won't say too much about exactly what happened because that will kind of ruin the story. But the fun thing about this book, if you see, it has these kind of fun elements. I posted one of this on my Instagram because I thought it was hilarious. Because the thing is, he's sitting at sort of a men not a mental institution, but there's a hospital that has a psych ward where he is for most of the time when he's writing. So you see that. That's just hilarious, because he sees one of the workers uh, looking over his shoulder while he's writing. And it's, throughout the book, I'll show you, throughout the book, he sort of changes the way he writes. Suddenly he gets uh, a typewriter, so you have the start of the book, which is kind of had the fonts like this, and then he gets a typewriter and the font changes, so it's really sort of a collection. He also, you can also see, he collects letters and notes. Here you see sort of a handwritten, oh, there it is, handwritten note. And he also does some drawing. Let's see if I can find one of those as well. There we have one, like that. I thought it was super cute. Um, it was do sort of a dark story, but also had moments where you really just couldn't help laughing. I found it really interesting to see how Matt struggles with sort of the basic things of growing up and living by himself and the kind of selfishness that his disease um, brings into his life because I haven't really read anything that is from a perspective of a schizophrenic before. I found him different from other characters that I've read. It's written in a first person so everything is straight from the thoughts of Matt about his family, about his upbringing, about Simon, about trying to live with his disease of growing up and moving into an apartment by himself and also trying to live with, um, dealing with his illness in the psych ward. And um, I, I gave it a five out of five stars. I thought it was amazing. It captured me. I absolutely loved it and I do recommend it. I will also find a couple of my favorite quotes from the book. I always line up, you can see right there. I always find a couple of quotes and line them out. So I will find that for you. This is far more difficult than I thought. Thinking about the past is like digging up graves. I guess children believe whatever they want to believe. Perhaps adults do too. When Simon was alive, he could be a bit of a sponge, soaking up all the attention. He didn't mean to or anything, but that is what special needs do. They demand more of the things around them. So that is my review of the amazing The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. I enjoyed it so much. It was a different kind of book with a different kind of writing technique that I absolutely loved. 
it's a fast read and I will link to it down below if you want to get a copy of it either on Amazon or Book Depository. I will link to the book down below if you want to go to Amazon or Book Depository to get your copy. I would love to see you subscribe to my channel and come here more often. I promise there will be a lot more fun book geeky stuff coming up soon. And, and I will also link to my blog and my Facebook. I would love to see you there. Okay, have a good time reading. Bye! Thank you.